Hey there, Pisces. This is Renee, and welcome back. Pisces, this is going to be your reading, your you versus them, right? So we're going to have your energy on this side, your person's energy on this side. For your side, I'm going to use the Spellcaster's Tarot. For your person, I'm going to use the Modern Witch Tarot. And we're going to take a look at this connection, where it's going, and what's going on. Okay, so for you, Pisces, we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, so this could definitely be a soulmate connection. For your person, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So your person can have some sort of addiction. Okay, but you feel like this is your soulmate. And, you know, you... I feel some kind of connection with this person, okay? So, very interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at your energy. So, now remember, these roles can be reversed. So, this could be your energy. This could be your person. This could be your energy. This could be your person. So, take it how it resonates, okay? So, let's go ahead and take a look at your energy, how does Pisces feel about this person? Give me a message for Pisces. How does Pisces feel about this person right now? Give me a message for Pisces. How do they feel about their person? Okay, we have the King of Wands. So there's a lot of attraction here. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Okay, um, I feel like this person may be very attractive. Okay, and it's making you really think about the situation uh, with this uh, Knight of Pentacles energy. I feel like you're like stopped in your tracks, right? Like this person kind of makes you pause. Okay, where is this connection going for Pisces? Where is this connection going for Pisces? Okay, the Five of Swords. You're conflicted. You're conflicted. But you're also a water sign. So I feel like you're trying to get control of your situation. Okay, there's a lot of fire here. And you're water. Okay, so it's like putting out this water. Um, but I feel like you're trying to get control of your situation with this emperor energy. You're trying to gain control of the situation because I feel like there's a very strong attraction, attraction. But you're trying to stop this attraction because you feel like there's something that's there's something that's a little bit unhealthy. You know, you may be isolating yourself. Um, you may feel like. This may be a little conflicted, right? You're having reservations. I feel like that's why there's fire here. There's attraction, but you're like trying very hard to keep self-control. You know, you're trying very hard to hold it together. You know, because the, the Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who is patient but they're working hard okay so i feel like you know you're trying to hold back yourself from this attraction you know from this passion this fire because you feel like there may be some kind of codependent energies right there there's some kind of choices that are being left unmade you know there's still some work that you need to put into this energy but I feel like you may not be doing the work that you need to do, okay? Um, you're not quite sure if this energy is stable or if it's just this soulmate connection because I feel like you're, you're like unblocking yourself. You're, you're lowering your boundaries, but you're also in your feelings. You know, you're still protecting your energy. Pisces. So I feel like there's some decisions that you make. If you feel like this is your soulmate connection, then you need to lower these guards. You need to lower these walls and lower your defenses, you know, because I feel like you're in your feelings here. Okay. Um, 
I, I feel like you're looking for stability, but you're not sure if this is stable enough to push forward. Okay? So let's take a look at your person's energy. Pisces, let's take a look at your person. Yeah. These cards do not want to cooperate today. Like I said, everybody's energy has been kind of off. No, I'm going straight to the left. Okay, so let's take a look at Pisces person. Okay, let's take a look at Pisces person. How does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces, please? The world in reverse. Okay, what is this person's intentions? Towards Pisces, the Queen of Cups, okay, and where is this connection going, where is this connection going please, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings, Lots of change here, okay? I feel like there may be a change in direction um, as far as this person goes. This person is seeing a change in direction, right? So maybe you're actually making this person feel like a better person just by being with you, okay? Maybe you're bringing out the better person in this person. <laughs> Very interesting, okay? Um, I feel like this person is kind of clinging on to control when it comes to this wheel of fortune in reverse. I feel like they're, they're trying to control their emotions, you know, but I feel like there's a lot of thoughts. There's a lot of thinking going on. Okay. Um, with the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles these are new beginnings you know this is you know an opportunity you know a, a new opportunity coming forward so they may see you as a new opportunity um that's kind of presenting them presenting themselves to you you know the ace of swords that's having the clarity having a sharp mind in the situation so i feel like they're you know, what they're feeling, they're trying to hold on to their emotions. They're trying to keep things under control. They're trying to hold back. You know, I feel like you're kind of at a standstill too, although you're very attracted. You're trying to take control of the situation just like they are, okay? Um, but I feel like this person is kind of focusing on their self right now. They're kind of focusing on their rest and relaxation, on their self-control, you know, they're, they're, they're really working through some kind of, you know, personal issues maybe, as far as I can see, and they're focused on themselves, right? So let's take a look, where is this connection going? Give me a message, where is this connection going for Pisces? Give me an outcome. Where is this connection going? Okay, we have the nine of wands in reverse. So both of you are lowing down your guard. The six of the six of wands in reverse. Wow, the six of cups in reverse. Are you serious? Are they all in reverse? Hmm. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And all of them are in reverse. There's no one really moving forward right now. You're both in this stuck energy. You both may have a lot of confusion. Um, there may be opportunities that lie ahead for, you know, making better decisions. But I feel like with this Nine of Wands and um, Six of Wands energy... I, I feel like, you know, you're trying to find success in the situation, but it, it's very interesting. The, the Nine of Wands energy in reverse 
is basically being exhausted, you know, unsure of the motives, unsure of what motives you may have, right? Um, the Six of Wands in reverse is, you know, someone who's who has too much pride, you know? Um, or someone who has a really big ego, right? So as someone's using their ego instead of their heart in this situation. The Six of Cups energy in the reverse is, you know, moving forward, but also um, maybe dealing with bad memories, dealing with bad emotions, maybe childhood trauma. You know, there may be things in the past that they could be dealing with. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse is basically <clears throat> working without results, you know, and having too many distractions, not being able to make a decision, okay? The Two of Pentacles in reverse is not being balanced, very disorganized and overwhelmed, you know? So I, I feel like at the moment, I feel like there's a lot of, feeling of discourse in this situation there's also a feeling of confusion like i was telling you with the seven of cups energy there's a lot of confusion i feel like you're not quite i feel like the attractions here the attraction is definitely here right you're very attracted to this person pisces you feel very strongly for this person and i feel like this person feels very strongly for you but there's things that are kind of blocking your way, you know, and I'm not quite sure what that is. It feels like very external emotions that are blocking you, uh, but there's a lot of emotions that are blocking you. And I really feel like it's really pride and ego, maybe on your side, maybe on their side. But, you know, there's decisions that are not being made and there may be some past hurt during the situation that's causing a lot of boundaries to become distractions, right? Very interesting. Okay, let's get a message for Pisces. What would this person want to say to Pisces that they just can't say or they can't get out? That could be the reason for this codependency here. You know, there, there may be some kind of distraction. There may be some kind of codependency, codependency in a way. Um, hmm. Okay, we have the timing just wasn't right for us. Okay. Hmm. We have, let me get this card. I wonder if you're happy without me. So there may be some separation between you and this person. You know, there may have not been contact. Someone may have ghosted you. Um, but I feel like there's some kind of distance okay i knew i was a distraction to your pain so yeah there's healing that needs to be had here i hide behind material things so i feel like you may have thought this person really had everything together when they really didn't you know um you don't know how hard it is to let you go that's why I'm saying I feel like there's a lot of feelings here, but I feel like, you know, something just isn't working. I can't stop thinking about you, right? So I, I feel like something just isn't working at the moment. I want to tell you how I feel, okay? You were the best thing in my life. Yeah, I'm becoming a better person, right? So yeah, I, I feel like when it comes to this person, maybe you know that's just it you know maybe the timing just isn't right for you and this person to be together at the moment um but it may be right in the near future so let's take a look 
Let's get some more messages. Like I said, I feel like the attraction is there. I feel like you're very attracted to this person. This person has a fire, has a magnetic pull, you know. Um, they may be attached in some way to something else with that codependency. Okay. We have I'm tired of being apart. Wow. Wow. Healing to create the perfect time to reunite. Yeah, I feel like that's that's just it. There needs to be some healing in the situation. You need to heal. Okay? Healing to create a perfect time to reunite. Definitely. I feel like that's the issue. Don't give up. You know? So it could be that, you know, this just is not the right time for this connection. You know, it may not be coming at the right time, right? We have good luck. Okay, we have I'm done. I know the unknown is scary, but you're ready. I miss you. I need to see you. Okay, and we have positive thoughts create positive actions. Okay. We also have cheaters. So there may be someone who cheated in this situation. Someone may not have did you right, right? Your prayers are being answered. And I'm going to take one more. Okay. And someone is wearing a mask. Someone is wearing a mask. They're not showing you their full intentions. Wow. And I was wrong. Arguing. Wow. Wow. Okay, and take a leap of faith. Okay, at the bottom again, now this has come out like five times. Healing to create the perfect time to reunite. Okay, so I feel like that's exactly what this reading is all about. Healing to create the proper time to reunite. Okay, and when is that proper time? Let's get a, let's get a timeline. When is the time to reunite after healing? When is a proper time to reunite after healing? Okay. It's better to give this more time to come in. Okay. So there's no infinite time. There's no infinite time. And at the bottom we have give yourself more self-love. Once that happens within a year, okay? So, yeah, I, I feel like there will be time to reunite after this healing occurs. But I really feel like this healing needs to occur before there can be a reunion, okay? This may be your soulmate connection, but there's some kind of codependency here. There's something keeping you apart. There's something that's not balanced, you know? And th there's something that's blocking you both, okay? And I feel like you and this person need to be very honest with each other when it comes to the situation, okay? Let's go ahead and get your angel number. Okay, we have 333, three, three, potential, okay? Your chance to reach your highest potentials are here. Perseverance has gotten you where you are. You have been through so much and this guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be. Okay, your affirmation. My potential is infinite and I use my strength as my ally to pursue my highest good. Okay, so there is potential here, Pisces, but there needs to be healing before there can be a reunion. Okay, so there needs to be healing before this can be reunited. Okay, but there is potential. Okay, so Pisces, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more. Also, you can take a look at your person's placements. They may give you more messages, more meaning as well. Okay. Also, I do readings every week, so you can always come back next week and I'll have a new reading for you. We'll see where your energies lie there. Okay. So Pisces, until your next reading, 
Many blessings to you, love and light.